If you're looking to bundle a new flagship soundbar with your new TV, or if you're just looking to upgrade your current audio system, the HD A7000 soundbar from Sony needs to be right up at the top of your list. I'm Derek from Sony, and this is an overview of the HD A7000. Now many of you are probably already aware that Sony is a company of movie and music professionals. From the 14 professional mixing studios for Dolby Atmos and IMAX Enhanced, helmed by some award-winning talent in Sony Pictures, and Sony Music being the world's number one music publisher with a lot of award-winning artists and producers. This is the experience that makes Sony different when it comes to professional audio. The HTA 7000 is replacing the long-standing and legendary HTST 5000, so it has some pretty big shoes to fill. Now, the new HDA 7000 is also a 7.1.2 soundbar. There are a lot of improvements made throughout, starting with Sony's exclusive X balance speaker type throughout the bar to give you better clarity and less distortion at higher volumes. They also have the side beam tweeters to give you an ultra wide soundstage to really fill the room with more immersion. And there are built in dual subwoofers. So if you have a smaller room, you can go adjust the bar itself to give you that expansive sound and good low end. Now, if you're looking to get a little bit more out of it, a little bit more punch low end, there are optional subwoofers that you can add to the HDA 7000. And you can also add the optional rear speaker kit if you want a truly immersive and cinematic experience. In order to give you this accurate and immersive soundstage, Sony uses their exclusive processing for audio, S-Force Pro Surround, as well as the vertical surround engine to give you sound all around, including from above. These speaker processes are important because the HTA 7000 will support all of your premium audio codecs that you're going to want or need for your best cinematic experience, including Dolby Atmos and DTS-X, 360 Reality Audio, and of course, Hi-Res Audio. Now everybody's room is gonna have a slightly different layout with different walls, different distances, and different setups. So the HDA 7000 utilizes the sound field optimization. With built-in microphones, it's able to calibrate itself to your room to give you the most optimal performance you can get. Connecting the HDA 7000 to your TV is very simple and straightforward. All you need to do is connect an HDMI cable from the HDMI out or arc port on the soundbar to the HDMI arc port on your TV. Now the soundbar does support eARC or EARC, so this will allow any of your streaming applications that support higher end codecs like Dolby Atmos or DTSX to deliver that uncompressed to the soundbar to give you the best possible audio experience. Now keep in mind you do need to have an EARC compatible TV to get the most out of it. The HTA 7000 also has two HDMI 2.1 inputs. So this will allow you to connect some next gen gaming consoles or something that might utilize HDMI 2.1 in the future to allow it to pass through either an 8K or 4K 120 signal directly to the TV. Now keep in mind, of course, your TV does also have to support HDMI 2.1. So if you have a Sony 2021 TV that supports HDMI 2.1, that will give you a total of three input HDMI ports. The HDA 7000 does work with Amazon Alexa, Google Assistant, as well as Apple AirPlay 2. So if you wanna control the soundbar with your favorite compatible voice assistant, you can do that, as well as wirelessly stream music through compatible applications. Working with these also supports the ability to do multi-room audio with compatible speakers and audio systems that use Google Assistant, Amazon Alexa, or Apple AirPlay 2. If you want to get the most accurate and immersive sound possible, I would recommend adding on the optional wireless rear speaker kit, the SARS 3S. These two-way speakers feature a tweeter and a bass duct to give you rich detailed sound to really fill the room and connecting them is super easy. You literally just have to plug them in and turn them on. They will, they will automatically pair up to the soundbar for you. Just make sure you get the right one on the right side and the left one where it needs to go. Now, if the dual built-in subwoofers on the HDA 7000 aren't giving you enough boom in the room, then you probably wanna add on one of the optional wireless subwoofers, the SASW5 or the SASW3. Both of these subwoofers feature Sony's exclusive Sigma-shaped magnetic circuit and SN edge structure. These are technologies that give you really deep, strong bass with less distortion. Now the SASW5 is the larger of the two delivering 300 watts and has a more premium look. Well, the SASW3 better for smaller spaces, smaller footprint, but still delivers 200 watts of power. 
If you have a compatible Bravia XR TV, you can take advantage of the acoustic center sync feature that's available on the HDA7000 as well. This will allow the soundbar to utilize the TV's speakers as well, so it gives you more of that sound from the picture type of experience that you would get in a theater. And finally, let's talk a little bit about the new premium design. Built from a combination of different materials, it really blends into pretty much any type of decor. It still has a very premium look, but it's still very subtle. Now in the front you'll have a perforated metal grill to help protect the speakers of course from kids and children and random thrown objects, while on the top you have a flat glass, very sleek look, and then you'll also have the cloth covered upward firing speakers. And to end with the flourish, the satin bronze Sony logo sits on top, reminiscent of the award winning 1000X series headphones. So I hope this video answers a lot of the questions that you were wondering about what is so great about the HD A7000. As you could probably tell, there is quite a bit, but you really have to hear it for yourself and I guarantee you will be sold. But if you still have some additional questions, check out the link in the description below to find out how you can talk to someone like myself in the Sony 101 consultation program. I've been Derek from Sony. Thanks for watching.